So yesterday I was cleaning up the shed at my new place, and I found these old 6 volt batteries. They see a super heavy duty on them, and they do not seem to say alkaline battery in them. So, I'm thinking these are probably carbon zinc batteries. Let's grab one. Let's see if we can open it up. I'm kind of curious to see what exactly is inside these batteries, but also, there should be some graphite electrodes in here. That might be the graphite rod right there. Oh. Well, at least we have a graphite rod. Pretty hard in there. I may save this because I believe this is manganese dioxide. Can't remember for sure. I mean, here we go. We have graphite. So here's the inside of one of the cells. This represents a 1.5 volt cell, similar to like a AA battery, but just bigger. We have the graphite electrode in the middle, which does not get dissolved when the battery gets old, so you can still get these out of old batteries. And if you're gonna buy a battery to get the graphite electrode, you might as well use the battery up before you rip it out for the electrode. Then in here is, I believe the mang manganese dioxide, or whatever compound and the white stuff is zinc oxide I think because there was a, a zinc plate on the outside but the zinc plate is pretty much just powder now well we got a load of zinc there but yeah these carbon electrodes are the most immediately useful items in the bunch but pretty much all of this is useful since this is so old, I'm just going to crack these open like this. I put all the manganese dioxide into this little cup. Oh, by the way, here's a piece of the zinc casing that still survived. And from now on, I'm gonna to try to crunch all of the manganese dioxide into a container so I can use it for future projects. I have a lot of batteries to get through, so let's go into time-lapse mode. I would say I'm done, and now I have 20 graphite rods <laughs> in the soup that I only got because it had Star Wars on it. So 
So here's the graphite rods. I washed them off. So they're nice and clean now, and yeah, they're pretty clean. These are pretty nice. Now the question is what to do with all this manganese dioxide. I decided not to bother trying to get this stuff out of there yet, because I was wasting too much time trying to empty these little canisters. And they're all self-contained pretty well, so I think I'm just going to keep this powder out and use that for any experiments. Then I'll put these in, into that box to use as just... to use after I use this stuff up. Actually, you know what? There's a third thing I can get from here. Zinc. So I guess I will take this stuff and rip at least most of the zinc bits out. And let's try to melt that down. I would say that zinc is probably too impure to really melt then. That's unfortunate. It smells like molten batteries. So that's pretty much it. We have some manganese dioxide. Unfortunately the zinc that's in the batteries is pretty much unusable. And we have some graphite. That's the best part, I think. These graphite rods, I mean, they're so usable. And they're all the same shape, too. So I'm thinking, I would love to hear you guys' opinions on what I can do with the graphite and the manganese dioxide. But I already have some uses in mind for the graphite rods. I can use them for maybe making, like, carbon arcs for an arc lamp, or an arc torch, or even, like, a small carbon arc furnace powered by those old microwave ovens over there. Or I'll probably just end up using, a, using them as electrodes in an electrolysis tank for removing rust. But oh well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!